everybody, what's going on? What's popping? Today, I'm going to do a classic sensor build challenge where I use random pack generator to generate four random packs. And those are the only things that I can use to build the house, which means that I can't use the base game. So that being said, why don't we pop up the random pack generator? And from here, I can select the packs that I have. Or I can unselect the packs that I don't have. And then let's do four results. We'll include the kits. And I'm going to leave this unchecked just so we can have a little more chaos. All right. Oh boy. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> okay. I feel like this is actually pretty doable. So we got kids room stuff, cottage living, island living, and the little campers kit. Okay, so why don't we start out just by building a shell. So cottage living, island living, little campers kit. I don't know if I want to build like, you know, Oasis Springs. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go and change the lot that I'm on. I think I'm going to build on this nice lot here and I'm going to start, I'm going to first just build a shell a house and then I'll filter down the packs. So, yeah, cottage living and island living will have plenty of stairs, so maybe we can do just build a big box to start. Okay, so something kind of like this. Maybe I'll make the front porch a little bit larger. And then, I don't know if I'm feeling how boxy this is. So maybe we just add like a little bump out over here or something. Maybe this is just too big. Just take this in a notch. Now let's see what the vibe is on roofing this. So it's kind of thinking of just trying to do something that's pretty simple. Okay, I feel like this looks pretty cute. And then I can probably just figure out the floor plan. I guess we can do the floor plan too right now. So we walk in, then we do like a bathroom here. Some of these rooms are going to be like a little goofy shaped. I just wonder why I do that to myself. I was make these like wacky shaped rooms and then I'm like how do I furnish these though okay so now let's filter our items so our packs are island living cottage living kids room and then I guess we'll just filter the kits later because uh you can't filter by individual kits which is really too bad so let's start out with flooring. I feel like these make sense outside, or maybe the worn cottage living ones for outside would be kind of nice. Let's see, do we get any foundations? Could have sworn the stilts were from this pack. That's why I made this foundation so tall. <laughs> but I guess those must be base games. See, I know that both of these packs do come with roofing, which is nice. So I guess the question is, do we want to do like, I think more of this kind of feel is what I want to do, more like islandy, beachy. And then I was picturing kind of a big door right here. Be bad for the front of the house. So windows. I really do want to incorporate the cottage living ones in, so I just, I don't know if these windows are kind of weird on a beach house, but I don't know, they're like kind of cute. Oh, that doesn't look terrible. And then let's see, siding. Okay, we kind of have some exterior options, so maybe use some of the cottage flipping stone for a couple of these bump outs. Ooh, this is coming together. Ooh, I get plants. Okay, that's that's really nice because the thing with plants in The Sims, obviously, is that they can help cover up um, the ugly things that you create. So, I mean, you know, the beautiful things that you create. So I can, like, put some of these guys out and around the house so it looks, you know, less obviously bad. I think that's decent for now for the outside. So let's move on to the inside. So let's first put down some lights, I think. Um, I guess I'll just use a couple of these because they're somewhat bright and then just kind of change them up. So bathroom, kids' room, parents' room kitchen, dining, living space. And I think I'm definitely going to add some uh, more walls, but we'll do a door there, door there, a door here for now. And let's see what we get for bathroom. Oh, uh oh, oh no. <laughs> well, the good news is that we have sinks and um, the not so good news is there's not a toilet. So um, there's, there's the party toilet. So maybe we'll put that outside and then um, I guess I could put the shower inside. Or we could just put this tub. Maybe, yeah, it'll be like a nice old school bathroom and, um, like awkwardly put this behind the house. <laughs> um, maybe we should do a little back porch. <laughs> but, um, okay. Oh, 
Maybe, maybe that's actually, that's what I should do here, is extend this, um, and then close that off, but then bulldoze down this wall, and then have, like, a little back porch here. This is pretty much entirely just so, you know, it's easy if you were to, you know, play in this house, because you totally want to play in this house, to get out to the wonderful, uh, bathroom out back. I can do one of those, and then maybe some different stairs at the back, maybe not those ones. These stairs over here, we could do the nice little fence moment again. Wonderful. Perfect. Okay, so let's do some flooring now for the inside. So, yeah, so we don't really have that many options. Um. But maybe go with this, or like a darker brown. I kind of like doing light wood, so we'll just put that down everywhere. Um, and then the bathroom. Honestly, the bed might look okay in there. And then let's go back to walls. Oh, we don't have tile, which is too bad. But we do have bricks. I was thinking we can do bricks in the bathroom and then maybe as like the backsplash for the bedroom or something. Or not the bedroom, for the kitchen. <laughs> Okay, so beds. I want to make sure we use stuff from like all the packs that selected. I'm not forgetting about the kit. <laughs> I promise. So I think we can use this for the kids' room. Really dig in on the kids' room decor. I'm just kind of committing to orange. I'm not sure why, because like personally, I kind of hate orange, but you know, kind of just you know doing it for the bit, I guess. <laughs> okay, I know there's plenty of kids' activities in the campers kit so I don't feel too bad about this room being a wee bit bland. So let's see. I guess we're stuck with one of these wallpapers which is fine. Just not ideal. Um, yeah that's kind of cute. That's not too bad. And let's see if we have any cute lights. I feel like we definitely looked out with the kids room. Having it. Okay so maybe sell this and then we'll do like the fun little Oh, those are huge. Size this down. Do some fun ceiling lights in here. Those are so much. It's kind of funny. Okay. Um, maybe we'll do like this cute little bedside table lamp. Then put up. This is one of my favorite decor items. These little pictures. They're so cute. It's so adorable. Okay. And then we'll add some more from that kid kit at the end or like camper whatever's. So I'm going to be able to scoot this out of the wall too. Okay, so then parents' room. Alright, we'll do this, you know, get woken up by the sun every morning. That's a thing that people like, so why don't we do that and then see if, yeah, this table kind of comes in some good swatches for this. And we've got this nice little bureau that we can put down. This curtain looks really good in here. And then for lights. I always like having a light that's kind of on the table, so maybe we can do a nice cute candle. Uh, I don't know if we need the illuminated cobble though. <laughs> so for wallpaper, do something like that, but that's kind of ugly. So this is bricks outside. Okay, that is bricks outside, so maybe we'll do bricks inside here too. And see if there's any good wall decor. Or, ooh, I could use, like, these behind the bed so it feels less uh, bricky in here, maybe? Do they come in any, like, fun colors? These ones come in fun colors. Not really. But we could add, like, a nice little pop. I feel like that's nice. Um, unless we have better... I take that back. We don't really have better wall decor. Oof, yeah, that's kind of sad. And then we should look at the rugs. Maybe this one would be nice. Just kind of like a casual rug since the room is kind of extra. And then let's see, maybe like something cute. Maybe a cute little like bedside plant or smear. I feel like that's a nice touch for like the parent room. Okay, I think that works. Now I have to figure out the space is just so large. I think maybe the kitchen over here is what makes sense because then it's kind of self breaks up a little bit. <sighs> is this too much? of the same color countertop. I just do it over here. But I do really like these countertops, so... so maybe I'll shift this door over one so I can make the kitchen a little bit longer. Probably adjust this a little bit. So I need to do a sink. I wonder if it's functional in here if I like raise it up one. It looks really pretty. Sims probably can't use it, but I might pretend that's functional. Um, and then I also need a fridge. Fridge might have to go. Oh, that's kind of a cool fridge. Um, I think I'm gonna do like this little snake fridge. That guy here. And then stove can go here. And I think I'm feeling like a little island. I feel like that's kind of cute and nice. And I really like the waterfall counters. I kind of hate these stools that come with the island looking pack. Not gonna lie. 
Let's see, trash can. Look at that. Options aren't the best, but I guess we can do this tiny one and then big one outside, or we could just put the big one inside. I guess that's fine. Okay, so that's kind of covered. I'd like to get a dining table in somewhere, and then also some upper cabinets, but I'll do like a little sitting area first. Okay, so we have a lot of good chairs. I feel like this doesn't suit the vibe, so I'm thinking maybe more of like the wicker furniture might be the way to go. Also kind of, uh, I kind of like the wicker furniture for outside, so maybe I will do this. And oh, maybe I can make like a little couch with these. If I scoot them next to each other. Like I feel like that looks kind of like a love seat, and then readjust that in a second. But get like a rug over here and maybe a, a fun lamp. I feel like this is more of an outdoor light. So maybe a side table again. I could do this candle but in a different color. And then let's see, are there any? Okay, we have one of these like low tables. Let's see if there's enough space. I think there is. Maybe we could put some like flutter on there. Are, are there any books? Oh, there are books. I guess that'd be a nice thing to put in Paris room, like book set. <laughs> oh, this would be cute to add. This light over here and then over the island do the pendant lights, I think. And you can just add a couple more like clutter items around to make it feel place feel a little cozier. Well I guess we do have I wonder if I could stick a desk back there actually, because I'm pretty sure there's a desk and a computer. Like there's a desk with island loading. Um, I might have to scoot my sitting area a little bit. Okay, so if I do that and then we don't have a TV, but we do have a computer. Yeah, I think that's that's kind of nice. Um, a cobble. No, yeah, why not? Let's have something to do. Oh yeah, I was going to do like a little... Maybe I can fit a kitchen table over here. Maybe I can't fit a kitchen table over here. I could fit like a table for one. Um, I could fit like a little bench right there. Then maybe we could do a little nice tea little area out here on the for a second I didn't realize what color on this was changing and then I realized it was just the um the legs are a different color. Do that over there and then go back to those little cute like, wicker chairs. Those are a good little oh we could put like the cottage living bench right here. That's kind of nice. And then we could put like a wicker chair over here too. That's kind of nice. Okay. And then let's see, hobbies and skills. Well we have all those fun items, but I don't know about those. <laughs> oh I should probably paint the inside of the house. That could be a good idea to finish painting. Is this too much like colored wood if I just do this? Or I could do this instead. I think I like this better. This gives a little more texture and then I was thinking maybe using a brick behind here. I mean I feel like I need to like break up like the divide between the rooms so maybe if I do that that's kind of better. Then just get this trash can so it doesn't seem like the brick is just like random. So we've got this and then um, it's a little too long to put another one. I just sneak this in. Oh and then going back to the kids room I could this like nice little shelf in there. Or do this like oh that's huge never mind I don't want that shelf yeah do the fun kid shelf oh there is a picnic table I thought we were putting a picnic table in the back by the bathroom but we could put one like out in the front or just not include one I think I want to include this swing set though oh there's this little guy is that a good thing or a bad thing I I don't know I kind of like it without it <laughs> I feel like that's kind of the theme of this is me going, oh, do I like this? And then go, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Let's see, what else is there that, that could be a nice moment. Or I could do this over it. Let's see what colors. No, I kind of like the open air vibe, actually, I think. Uh, maybe a cobble will go up there and then I can get some of the kind of wrecky things from Cottage Living because those are definitely cuter. So like the little Dutch oven will go back here and I like, do like this. Oh, hello. <laughs> sort of massive. Definitely need more plants in this house because I have like literally none. This over here. So I had a bunch of stuff for kids so I think we can add in like a nice blarfy and maybe like this little guy. It's like honestly kind of terrifying but oh wait there's this little dollhouse oh that's enormous um maybe the dollhouse can be on the back porch like by the bathroom <laughs> or could the dollhouse be right here can i size this down the kid can still play in front of it but they might not be able to get in there maybe we'll just have to go with like the toy chest there is this rug but i don't feel like it's cuter than the rugs we have already they look like colorful because i feel like this could be a cute thing to have out. Oh, this table is cute. We table and chairs if we use this one. And then, sorry to this wing set, but I don't think I cannot use this one. This one is just so gorgeous. Let me just kind of stick a full guy back there, maybe. Um, okay. Yeah. 
chairs. Yes. So, yeah, I think that's fine. Maybe these colors are, in second thoughts, a little bright. So, yeah, I don't mind that. And then, oh, these chairs are just so cute. Maybe I'll just do a couple of, like, little deck chairs on the back porch. I think that's kind of cute. And then blah, 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 blah. and then maybe have on I think the kid definitely has the best room. Um here maybe just toss like one of these pillows on the floor. Yeah. See I like could have used this bed instead, but I think the kids room one is nicer. Um, I have to look at all the kids at once, but oh my gosh, wait a little campfire moment. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, maybe we can have like the prayer pit and we can go back to the chairs. That chair. These chairs have like a couple of them like around. That's nice. And then is there anything else that I am forgetting that I would kick myself if I forgot to put on? I mean, I could do this, but uh, it feels weird that it's next to their only bathroom. Oh yeah, where's that? Wait, never mind. Oh, I guess we could sell this and then instead do like the light. Okay, I really, I feel like this build is pretty good. I'm actually, I feel like I'm pleasantly surprised with how this turned out. It looks somewhat cohesive. And honestly, the only really big downside is that this bathroom is a bathroom. Like, there's no toilet that comes with any of these packs. But yeah, the inside is pretty cute. We've got the master bedroom, got a living room area, got a dining space, got the kids' room, got our uh, interesting bathroom. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below with whether or not you think I should do this challenge again. And if you have any other modifications that you would suggest doing, to make this even harder. And if you'd like to download this house, this will be on my gallery. It's just called, let's see, four random packs built. We'll delete this description. But I'll see everybody next time. Bye everyone.